Hi everybody. You've probably heard by now that Forrest Finn's treasure has been found and it wasn't us that found it. <laughs> but I just wanted to do a quick video on uh, our plans going forward here. And uh, I think Bob wanted to share a couple things with you about our solve. And okay. So our solve, uh, I'll go into just a little bit of it, was where warm waters halt was Cumbries uh, Railroad Station uh, at the Cumbries Pass. Uh, it's in New Mexico on the Colorado border. And for the last five years, we've been going there twice a year searching. We've also searched in all the other states, but we've been spending a great deal of time there. And time will tell if, if we were right. I think, I think we were really close uh, rambling doesn't think we were close <laughs> and was tired of uh, me wanting to go there and search there but uh, I love the area yeah. but I was really tired of searching the same area year after year after year um, and many times yeah. uh, so we'll see I think you yeah. had it in your heart more than I, I you know uh, the treasure search brought out a bunch of nuts and it's addicting. Uh, I was addicted to <laughs> looking in that where I thought it was. And uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see if we're, I was right or not. But it's been very, very special. I've learned a lot of things, enjoyed a lot of stuff. Meeting Forrest Finn oh, yeah. and talking to him uh, mm -hmm. several times was wonderful. I gotta say it was wonderful. Oh yeah, that was and, that was just like the highlight. Yeah. Being able to meet Forrest Finn in person and he is genuinely nice. I mean that's it's, him. That is him. He is really a genuine person. Probably about six years ago after doing research on him and studying him and everything, he became a hero of mine. Uh, I really uh, admired him. And then getting to meet him and talk to him was uh, just amazing. And uh, he would always ask ask me, uh, where's your solve? Where's your solve? Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd never tell him because I didn't want to take advantage of anything on the search. Uh, if I would have told him, you know, that we were at Cumbries where warm waters halts, and uh, I would have been able to judge his reaction on that. Like when he would say, uh, dip your toes in, uh, in the water, I knew that wasn't it. So I didn't want to take any, get any unfair advantage at all. So I would never tell him, well, tell him that. Tell him where we had been searching. We like would, the, we, the one time when I told him that we were up by Gardner. Right. We would tell him different places that yeah. we searched, yeah. but I truly believe, uh, that the treasure was at the Colorado, New Mexico border where we had been searching. And I didn't want to make him feel uncomfortable or try to get any unfair advantage by saying anything about that. But that was kind of funny, though, when I said that we had been up by Gardner and he said, oh, you need to stay out of Gardner. Right, That's right. That's what he said. You need to stay out of Gardner. You know, if you, to if, you, if you told him somewhere, he would, he would throw some little, uh, you know, uh, information on it that... You know, would not necessarily be correct, but... I think he liked to you do know, that with everybody. Yeah, though. he liked to play a game. Yeah. It was like a game, yeah. you know, where, he, you know, you'd tell him something and, you know, you, you, you couldn't base anything off anything he said like that. Cause no, I, would, I, I really think that he was pretty close about keeping things... Yes. Oh, yes. He, uh, really, he's a very smart yeah, person. I, he's I, a very I, smart person. Yeah, but, he you is. Know, he is. But uh, we had such such a good time in this whole search, and I really hope that uh, this isn't the end for everybody. That maybe down the road we can, you know, if we see people out there, you know, that uh, like us down and say hi or something, because uh, you know I'd like yes. to still meet a lot of you out there. But um, we. Uh, I, I gotta just thank Forrest Fenn so much for this because we have had a wonderful time 
in this whole search. And we've gone to places we would have never have been before. Right. We, had, we, went, we had already been all through the Colorado, uh, or not Colorado, but the Rocky Mountains. But now we went all over there. We had never been in Montana. Right. We'd never been in Wyoming. Right. And uh, so, uh, but we oh. had been in New Mexico and Colorado right. uh, quite a bit. But yeah, we met so many, so many neat people. Uh, you know, it's kind of a bummer that there's no Finbury this year because we really wanted to go and, and uh, meet uh, a whole group of people, that uh, a whole group of searchers. But, uh, you know, there's always uh, time down the road. We're going to just continue uh, our travels and we're still getting our move going to uh, Arizona pretty soon. Looks like carpet's going to go in there, so... Right, so mm -hmm. now we don't have to make our twice a year trip to uh, Chama. Usually we had been basing out of Chama yeah. twice a year, usually in May and usually September. Yeah, and but I, I still uh, I still want to go up there and camp along the Chama River. Oh yeah, it's that beautiful. Was, I mean, that they're, they're... so, so pretty. Right. So pretty. So I could sit up there just outside and, you know, watch the river go by. It was just, just serene. Yeah. So if anybody gets up in that area, I highly recommend it. It's a, it's a great place to stop and, and camp. But, uh, Cumbries Pass, if you're uh, boondocking, is a wonderful area to camp up there. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of different camping areas. Yeah. There. And you go up there and see the train. Right. You know, that was really neat to see that old steam engine. But uh, I think that's about it for now. I mean, right? Thank you, Forrest. Uh, I know yeah. you occasionally watch some of these videos there. Uh, yeah. You know, I would guess you're a little disappointed that it's found. You know, it didn't go on ten thousand years, which. But uh, I'm relieved because uh, I would have never been able to let my solve go. You're relieved. He's yeah. not that relieved. I gotta tell you, earlier he was like the saddest person that ever, it, ever was. It, he was walking around with a it, big yeah. lip drooping and everything. <laughs> there, was, there's <laughs> disappointment, but uh, I wouldn't yeah. have been able to leave my cell. And I, I could have yeah. spent every summer, uh, the whole summer up there searching. Yeah, so. that's true. He could have spent the summer searching and uh, we talked about it. Right. And I was going to stay back. I wasn't going to go out with him this year, uh, this summer when we went. I was going to stay back at camp because, um, you know, he, he really, really had things that he wanted to go see out there. And, you know, yeah. I think I was done with that, that part of the search. But, well, it'll be interesting when it's released. Uh, hopefully it gets released where it uh, was found. The finder is not under any obligation to let anybody know and then everybody will know Forrest Finn's special place. Well, once once but, I see once I see the pictures I'll know uh, how close I was. It you know? might just be pictures of the treasure though. It might yeah. it might not be uh, yeah, pictures okay. of where it was. Yeah. So you never know. We we do have a bunch of pictures that we haven't published of some of the stuff. Yeah. Well, have oh, to... that's that's because he wouldn't let me Publish because he's like people will be able to know where we're at. Yeah. Don't put that one out there. You can't put that one in a video. So yeah, that's... I had to have him go over uh, everything uh, before I put it out there on YouTube. He was really nervous about somebody seeing exactly where we were. But now it's it's a you know now we just hope that we get to find out where it is and and uh, I can't wait to find out more about that in the coming days. Right. I I, it, uh, yeah, I'm not even sure I want people to know where it is. I'd, I'd like to yeah. see, but it would make it a tourist area and might spoil it a little bit. I don't know. Yeah. You know. But we'll see. I know but, there's going to be a lot more videos coming out from other YouTubers. Uh, Mike and Christy are going to do one later today. They, they could even be doing it right now. I, I'm not positive, but I um, have to check in on them. And Christy uh, said there's going to be more information coming out. So... Hopefully when they get their uh, video going that uh, we'll be able to find out some more information. That'll be pretty cool. But uh, for now, we're going to uh, cut this off now. That's I good. Think. That's good. you have anything else to say or are you good? I, I could keep talking for <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we'll have to save that for another video. Anyways, we'll catch up with you guys down the road and stay safe out there. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.